Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about solving multivariable linear systems. So when you're solving a system of three linear equations, um, you're really going to follow the same strategy every single time. So your goal is to essentially create a system of two variables. So using uh, two equations, you're going to eliminate one variable and then you're going to eliminate that same variable again using a different combination of two uh, equations. So that will give you a system of two variables. So once you have that system, you can solve it using either the substitution or the elimination method. It's up to you. And then um, you substitute the two values that you find into one of the original three equations to find your remaining variable. Okay, so let's give this first problem a try together. Um, so here we have our system of three variables, and remember our goal is to create a system of two variables. So looking at the different um, coefficients here, it looks like it's going to be easiest for us to eliminate our x values twice. So first I'm going to use the first and second equations. And adding vertically, I can eliminate the x values. So that leaves us with y plus 3z equals 5. So I'm going to write this equation up to the right because it's going to be part of our new system. And then I'm going to use um, the second and the third equations to eliminate x's again. So we have to eliminate the same variable twice but I'm going to multiply that second equation by 2 as well. So we have negative 2x plus 6y equals negative 8. We'll leave a little more space there. And then our third equation stays the same. And then here we can add vertically. So we get y plus 5z equals 9. So I'm going to write this problem up top. And now you can see that we have our system of two variables. So here you can solve using the method of your choice. Um, I'm going to solve using the elimination method. Uh, so I'm going to multiply that top equation by negative 1. So when we add vertically, we get 2z equals 4. So our z value is going to equal 2. So now that we have one of our variables, um, we're going to stick with our system of 2. And I'm going to substitute it into one of these two equations. So I'll substitute it into the first one. So we can say y plus 3 times 2 equals 5. So our y value is going to be negative 1. And now that we have two of our variables, we can go back to our original system and uh, we are trying to solve for x. So I noticed that I can actually solve for x by substituting into the second equation. You can really substitute it into any of the original three, but this one will just be the least amount of work. So we can say negative x plus 3 times negative 1 equals negative 4. So we know that x is going to equal 1. And then all you have to do is write your answer as an ordered triple. So 1, negative 1, 2, and we're done. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and give this problem a try. Okay, so um, you might have chosen a different path than I did, but you should still end up with the same answer of 1, 2, 3. So you can see here that I chose to eliminate my y's, and this actually worked out really nicely because when I eliminated my y's um, using the second and third equation, um, both y and z canceled out, which made my job a little bit easier. Um, so here's my system of two variables, and then I was able to uh, substitute and solve. All right, here's another one for you to try. Go ahead and pause the video again and give it a go. All 
right, so for this problem, you can see that I started out by um, eliminating my z values twice, giving me this system of two equations, which I rewrote right here. From there, I chose to solve using the elimination method, which um, I eliminated my y's, so I got a value of x, and I substituted to get y, and then I used my very first equation to find z. So your answer should be 4, 1, 3. So just a word of advice for these types of problems. If you notice that um, you're attempting a problem and for some reason you're not getting it right, you know, you're checking your answers and it's not working, um, my recommendation is that you completely leave the problem. So go try a different problem. And then when you come back and try that problem again, um, try a completely different approach. So maybe instead of eliminating your X's, maybe you try eliminating your Y's because odds are you're making a really small mistake. And if you keep trying the same way, you're probably going to keep making that same mistake. So um, I'd say leave the problem alone and come back to it and then try approaching it um, using a different variable. Okay, so now um, we're going to look at a problem that has no solution. So I just want you to see what it looks like when this happens. So um, let's try to solve this just like we would any other system of three. So our strategy for this problem is going to be to eliminate our x's twice. Let's try to eliminate our x's twice. So I can use um, the first and second equations, but I'm going to need to multiply that first equation by negative two. So we get negative 2x plus 6y <clears throat> minus 2z equals negative 2. But our second equation can stay the same. So when we add vertically, we get 5y minus 4z equals 0. So I'm going to write that up here to the right. And then we can use um, maybe the first and third equation, but I'm going to multiply um, my top equation by negative 1, so my x's cancel out again. So negative x plus 3y minus z equals negative 1, and then x plus 2y minus 3z equals negative 1. So adding vertically, that gives us 5y minus 4z equals negative 2. So if you look at the system of two equations we have, we actually have the same on the left hand side. We have 5y minus 4z and one equation says that it equals 0 and one equation says that it equals negative 2. So you can clearly see that there's an inconsistency here. So you don't even need to continue solving it. When you see something like this, we know that it's going to be no solution. And at this point, you are done. All right, here's the last problem. Um, go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. So once again, here I eliminated my x values twice. And then you get two equations. So we actually have negative 5y plus 10z equals negative 8. And then negative 5y plus 10z equals negative 2. So here's our inconsistency. So this um, system has no solution. So hopefully now you know what to look out for. Um, but you might notice that we haven't talked about um, infinite solutions. So that's going to be in, covered in the next video. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.